Hello and welcome to another Spastic Inger tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a cartoon style render uh, using Blender's internal render engine with Freestyle. So let's get started. Um, before, uh, yeah, so to start I'm going to just create a tune material for the monkey that we have here. So set both the diffuse and the specular to tune, right? And um, for the diffuse color, set the color you want the base material to be. And we're going to do a blue-ish color. Um, and for the specular, um, I'm going to actually tint it a little bit blue. So let's set the intensity up, because I tend to like just setting the diffuse intensity up anyway. Um, and let's turn the size up. And keep the smoothness up a little bit too. And we'll, I'll be explaining what each of these options do in just a second. Um, once more, turn the smoothness for the speculum up. Now, switch it over to monkey because it's easier to visualize on here than it is on, any, on the um, sphere. If we turn the size down on the diffuse, cell size. This is going to make it darker around the edges, or darker where there aren't any light bounces coming in, and it's also going to make it um, less colorful. Um, if we turn it up, we'll have more blue shining through, and it will look uh, more colorful, I guess. Um, just like it's a different material. And the smoothness will be affecting the cell size. And what I mean by cell is if you set the sharpness down to basically nothing, um, you can see this really sharp scene between the color and the shadow. Um, and the higher you set this, the less there will be, the lower you set it, the more there will be. Um, so basically the tune shader is just a very, um, like a, a diff basic diffuse shader, which you can like just change um, values that you normally can't change, like the distance between the shadows and the diffuse color and the sharpness of the diffuse color versus the shadows. So specular um, works similarly this almost the same way that what I was just saying before um, so yeah let's just hit render and see what this looks like okay so right now it looks a little bit too chrome chromish chromey um, for my taste so we're going to make it smoother this will make it look more like plastic There, much better. Now, one of the m major reasons we can tell cartoon from our realistic render is because of edges. And if you want a quick and dirty edge, um, you can just click um, edge in the post processing panel and adjust the threshold to be how much um, to show how much you want the edge, like how many lines you want. And I, I don't know, I'll just make it a light gray color, light or gray. And if we hit render right now, we'll just get a basic render with edges. So you can see we have these edges. Now this might be fine for certain things, but if you want more control over the edges, um, and you're going to need the latest build of Blender because this is a new feature, um, we're going to use Freestyle. So check Freestyle and go over to the render, link set, light, render layer settings. Now, if you hit render right now, you won't get anything. You won't get any lines. You won't get, um, uh, unless, of course, you kept edge checked um, in the post processing. But uncheck that. We're using Freestyle now. So yeah, you, if you render right now, you won't get anything. That's because we haven't added a line set. And line sets are basically telling Freestyle where you want the lines to be. 
So if we, we can actually mark our mesh and create custom lines. So let me do that quickly actually. I'll just say I want a line right along the upper lip right here. And we'll say mark freestyle edge. So now that we have a line set and we have um, edge marks checked, if we hit render, it will render our scene, then it will render the freestyle image, um, the freestyle strokes over top. And you can see we now have this edge all the way along the mesh. And we also have the edge along the upper lip. So let's actually remove that quickly so you can see what it looks like without. But you, um, freestyle is just like super customizable edges, which is awesome, especially if you do, do a lot of tune shading. So yeah, um, let's make the line thicker. So let's say something about eight-ish because um, this image is going to be kind of big and I really want to be able to see the line. So if we render, wait a second for freestyle to render the stroke over top, we get this really thick line. And we can um, adjust the color, obviously. We can add modifiers for each of these so you can adjust the color. Uh, d depending on the distance from the camera, or depending on, or you can adjust the alpha from the cam from the distance from the camera, or you can adjust thickness um, on any of these, or we could even add Perlin noise. And if we render this now, we'll get a noisy edge like that. And um, I didn't adjust any of the settings. I'm not going to go into detail about all the modifiers. Um, but if you know what you're doing, you can really get a cool sketchy style. But for now, we're just going to do a basic tune style render. And we're going to use round caps. Um, and we'll show suggestive contours too. So, I mean, these aren't like the optimal settings for this, but um, with a little bit of fiddling around, uh, you can really get some cool effects. And if you really know what you're doing with freestyle, um, there's also a competition for the Blender splash screen going on. Um, I'm not entering it, it um, in it because I don't really have time right now, but. Um, they're going to be using freestyle, so if you want to do that, go ahead. Um, so yeah, I'm just rendering, getting the right color for the edge. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'll just demonstrate once more with a an orange monkey, and this one will be more metallic more metallic uh, cartoon shader so or glossy even so set the smoothness down a lot on this one because we want it to be a lot sharper set the size up and then for specular let's set the size up and actually I'm going to switch back to my uh, sphere view quickly so I can uh, really see the specular. Turn up the intensity. And if we hit render, we'll get this. And you can see we've got a fairly glossy, almost gold material over here. And we have a more matte, plasticky material on the right. So that's all I have for you guys this time. Um, if you want another freestyle tutorial, uh, make sure to comment below. And I'll get back to you on that. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. 
and I'll see you all next time.